I was sick of running, of being hunted. I was 13 years old. I had been trained to kill. I had an AK-47 in one hand and my soccer ball in the other until they burned it. I had watched my friends die and then bury their bodies. I had watched people literally starve to death. I lost count of the dead bodies I had seen. I lost count of the days, months and years. I vowed not to let anything I saw break me. I learned to form a family where there was no family. I learned to make fun where there was no fun. As the plane made it descending to Melbourne, it was dark. I had never been on a plane before, and now I was learning in a new country. Cura.
And um, Eddie and Benita Marbo. And oh, <laughs> Nikki Winmar. <laughs> In the ruck. Hamilton. And Yeager. Yes. They fought against the white men. They'll be in your ruck, our freedom fighters. And the forward line? Kathy Freeman? Yep. And Charlie Perkins. <laughs> and in your back line, my mum, your nana will be there. And all the elders looking out for you, little one. And now that. Native title, 
That's our defence. What about your dad? Let's just leave him on the bench for now. What about Slim? Where's he going to go? Yeah, that's right. I can't forget Slim Dusty. I reckon he's probably centre half forward, do you think? Yeah. Along with Jalo Guru Bibi on a ditch. It's a pretty good team. Hmm. Well, what about the fans? Who's going to be cheering this one on? Family and friends. <laughs> we can't wait until you're here, my me. Well, okay. So now it's really only her name we've got to decide on. You really think Chad's an okay name for a girl? <laughs> I'm going inside. <laughs> out. Oh, if he kicks this, it'll be goal of the century. Oh, can he do it? After the siren, kick the match winning goal. 80 metres. Oh, is he good enough? Oh, I think he is. Yep, he is. Here he goes. Oof. Oh, it's a huge kick. Oh, what's he done? It's, oh, no, it's bending back. It's coming back. Yeah, he's put it through. <laughs> it's, 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 through. it's through. He's done it. <laughs>
How far did you want me to go back? I think right from the beginning. Well, they were Irish. But how did they get here? Our family doesn't really talk about it that much. Uh, I think it was a new start. You know, new country, new start. Mm. Did you come here with your sister? No, I came first. Just you? Yeah. My cousin was already here. He picked me up from the airport. I was totally impressed he had a car. But I just couldn't work out how he kept stopping, because I've never seen traffic lights before. That explains a lot about your driving, then. <laughs> Funny coming from you. But yeah, I was really glad that I uh, wasn't driving the first night. He took me to the flat. It was a tiny flat. All the elders were there. And we had a huge feast and women sang songs. For you? Yeah. The next day, my very first day here, we were walking down Brunswick Street. And this black fella walked towards me. I knew nothing about Aboriginal people before. He put out his hands and he said, Welcome, brother. This is your country. Really? Yeah. And I actually thought this was white man's land. Oh, go easy. Sorry. I reckon we're done here now. All right. All right, sir. Seriously? Yeah. You're kidding me. Martin. Martin. Martin, get up. Chad Wingard? Is that really you? You weren't expecting me. No. Not exactly. Well, do you want to come out to dinner with my grandma and myself? Hi, Martin. Oh, hi, Auntie Barbara. Can you do me a favour, Martin? Can you ask Susie if she will come and join us for dinner? Uh, because we'll probably meet down the river somewhere, but I really need to tell her something. We can go to the same place we did last time. That'll be good. Yeah, it'll be great. Martin, are you okay? You don't look well. Chad, I really think you might need to go back to sleep. I think so. And you reckon? Yeah. Nothing your mum. See ya. dream, Chad Wingard and his grandma asked us out to dinner. You and me? Yeah. Auntie Barbara wants to tell you something. Well, are we going to go? <laughs> I don't think so. Auntie Barbara told me to go back to sleep. And you wake me up to tell me this? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <gasps> I should have got his autograph. I knew what to do with the gun. I knew how to hold it. I knew how to fire at the enemy. I wasn't afraid to kill. When I was chosen, I didn't protest. 
with every death and the thought of our sisters and mothers being raped and killed. The anger had burned inside me until I wanted them to make me a soldier. They made us stand for hours in the middle of the night, just standing there and not moving. Standing straight and doing nothing is harder than it sounds. We had not slept or eaten for days. I took every beating, every punishment. I wanted this training. I needed it. If I hadn't had it, I wouldn't still be here. But so many boys, they didn't make it. Their bodies were left for the vultures.
Your, your girl walking out at night, teeth shining white. <laughs> That's better. See, nothing else in sight. <laughs> because I love you, I love you until you run out of money, <laughs> until there's Huntington Jarrington Hills. I don't know you've been good ill. New new girl. I love you from your toes. I can't see my toes. I know, that's why I sang it. <laughs> oh, there they are. <laughs> to your good be nose. Actually, look. Actually, we've got, got something. <laughs> no, <Nah>, just... <laughs> that's the way it goes. Because <laughs> I love you. I love you until there's Arijan Jarinyan Hills. Arijan Arvin Kulil. What if I'm not a good coach? What? You'll be great. You'll be a premiership winning coach. Only because we're the best assistant coach. <laughs> Why? Um, that's true. I think. <laughs> Do you reckon she'll play for you? I reckon she'll be a born champion. Cause I love you. I love you until there's Arjun Jarian Hills. I need to know if for me. Oh, I bought something for you. It's a surprise. Yeah, I'll wait right there. I'll be back in a minute. Hang on. A surprise? Yep, wait there. Maybe it's a giant ring. Isn't it cute? Is that Chad Wingard? What? Chad Wingard? Is there a number? Maybe. Oh, is that his number? Yes. Number three. You sure? Yeah. Hey, who? Maybe. Who put it on? Honestly, I think. Is that his number? I love it. It's, it's beautiful. I don't. I don't know how big you think this baby's going to be. Oh, look, I should get there. She's going to have to go into this. Look, um, take, it might take a couple of years. We should get there. I'll just, um, put a stick my some kids ready. Yeah, I'll help you film this. No, it wasn't like that. It was time of war. Time of things we don't speak about. If you try to make us, we'll say we don't remember. We were just kids. But I remember our mom. Holding 
my brother, walking him, balancing him as she walked. She always kept her head held high, as she could see things that no one else could. We both remember our grandma. She made it possible for us to get to Australia, to get to safety. Never guess who I saw at Safeway. Spun me right out. Who? Cousin Jackson. You know, South Australia mom. 
I haven't seen him for years. And he gave me this. It's for you. It's from Auntie Barbara. Apparently, she knew your dad. I'll just put this inside. Yeah, it's real busy down there, eh? Safe way. Thanks for a big grand final day, Mom. How's it going? Can you read it to me? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Dear Susie, it took me a long time to find you. I heard you bought a caravan and took off. No fixed address. Your dad used to talk about you. I heard you were a brave little kid. He showed me how you'd run up to him with your arms open wide. You meant everything to him. I bet you did. I promised him that I'd find you. He wanted to say thank you. Even though you were only a kid, you were the best thing that ever happened to him. He wanted to say sorry. Stop. He did. I don't want to hear it.
He didn't find it easy to say sorry. Men's pride gets in the way, you know. And things happen to your dad that shouldn't happen to anyone. There were reasons why he had to go away. Susie, if you want to know more, come and see me sometime. You could bring Martin along and we could go to a game together. Your dad loved his footy. He said you used to watch it together. Nakan Yao Susie. Love from Adi.
Okay. Yes! <laughs> so now the rematch we've all been waiting for, the Black Eagles Holy Cross from Kakuma Refugee Camp versus the might of the Socceroos. Street. Yeah, <laughs> Martin, I'm Doherty. It's good to see you again. Uh, how have you been? Uh, is this country taking care of you okay? Yeah. Oh, that's good. But uh, sometimes, if you've got black skin, things aren't always so easy around here. I should have got a team now. Oh, that's great. Uh, what's with this ball? Um, it's soccer ball. It's made out of socks. <laughs> this is how we used to make them back in the refugee camp. What's inside? Memories. Please, oh. sit. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. oh, cheers. cheers. They say, that day, Brunswick Street, how come you welcomed me you didn't even know who I was? Well, I hadn't seen you around before, so that's good hospitality. And it's customary. What do you mean? Well, as blackfellas, when you go to someone else's country, you get welcomed in, so people know what you were doing there. Oh, and it's also about respect. Respect for each other's land, respect for our ancestors, and respect for each other. It felt really good. It's spiritual too. To be welcomed by the people of the land connects you to that land. It's a beautiful country. Oh, hey, we're about to watch the big game. It's the grand final. Oh, yeah, it starts in an hour. You want to join us? Yeah. My friends? Um, uh, sure. All right, I'll go get them then. That's all right, I'll go get them. They're at the Oval, right? Yeah. Well, you just stay here because Martin might need some help with the barbecue. Hi. <laughs> You're a lucky, she's a lucky girl. <laughs> Actually, she's right. And this barbecue gives me, it's not like the other one we had, the old one. <laughs> Yeah, it happened all the time. 
Could have been actually hot. Oh, we call them a full back. Don't tell me because people jump on their backs. I've seen that. Oh, no, no. Yeah, Texas, put him on. Why is the ball such a weird shape? That's a part of the game, the bounce of the ball. Some players just know which way it's going to go. Sil Rioli, Michael Long, Cracker Brothers. It's black magic. Mm. <laughs> What's with all the animals, though? What animals? Crows. Oh, no. Oh, no. Of course, of course. <laughs> They're the team's totems. We get totems when we're born, too, you know. My totem's the same. I'm Buffy. My family call me Buffy when I go home. You're not allowed to eat, kill, or hunt your totem. You belong to your totem. Oh, we have totem as well. I'm a lie. <laughs> well, what's with this then? Um, <laughs> that's a code. It's a, it's part of an ancient ceremony. It's kind of a secret. Yeah. Really? No. <laughs> but AFL does have connections to our indigenous game, Margul. Played by our ancestors. It's a bit different these days. It's a bit similar, I guess. Uh, today you'll see two tribes come together in their colours to a sacred place, the MCG, <laughs> which was a sacred robbery ground for the Kulin Nation. But I've got a question for you guys. What's with the offside rule? Ah, you like, don't seriously, that I don't care. Uh, well, it's weird because it's like this way. It's not 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 this
it will always shock me to see so much food. Back home, it's really hard to explain real hunger. If there's no food, the feeling lasts for hours, hours, and hours, and hours, until it changes. What happens? It changes. It turns into big emptiness. Have all the way. See, by the time I was two, I worked it out that crying wouldn't make food come. But I didn't know what I was missing out on. Well, we'll go hunting birds, grasshoppers, and try really not to think about how hungry we were. We played our way through it by climbing mango trees until the war came. Well, you didn't know you were missing out on Martin's barbecue. <laughs> Our people hunt too, right? Eh? I might have been about four when my hunters started getting me to watch him hunt and fish. Mm. Well, now, our people teach by their elders, teach by demonstrating. Well, it's the same like you guys. Mm. Well, we moved into town when I was still pretty small, so well, well this came from Safeway. Mm. Safeway? Mm. I just couldn't believe it when I first went to Sanford. <laughs> it was like a house full of food. <laughs> there was even a section for the whole pet food. Oh, you know what I should have done? If I had known you were coming, I should have got you a roux towel. Made roux towel stew. It's better than oxtail stew. Oh, yum. But actually, did you know that kangaroo meat only used to be available from your pet food shop or your local butcher as pet food? Even though it's 99% fat free. But not like these sausages. Ooh. I reckon they should be in the pet food section, eh? What do you reckon? Yeah. <laughs> there are some kids right here whose families can't even afford breakfast. I really don't eat breakfast. How come? You see, where I grew up, food was so precious. So you only eat when you're hungry. But I'm never hungry in the morning. Mm, but I'm hungry now. This smells really delicious. <laughs> it smells all right, eh? Yeah. Um, just just about ready, ready. Oh, I want you to uh, meet my sister Grace. Oh, yeah, okay. Hi. Sorry. Hi, Hi Grace. Hey. I'm Martin. Nice to meet you. I'm Susie's husband. Um, so, um, yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, that's great. Want to spot to sit there? Oh, sorry, sorry Grace. Please, um, can you box sit there, please? It's, um, What's up the empty chair? Uh, it's Susie's dad's chair. Mm -hmm. They used to watch footy together a lot when she was a kid. Mm -hmm. He left. Then he passed away. And now she's kind of superstitious. Uh, it's a bit hard to explain. Uh, we understand. Oh, hey, do you want to sit here? Yeah. We'll walk up the chair anyway. Thank you. Um, hey, guys. Hello. Check out the signature I got on this one, though. Oh, and you manage that? Yeah. Oh, you're on your ditch. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm just not painting at the moment. Not quite bad. Oh, oh, yeah, it looks like a shit. Just got to start it. Australians, let us 
all be one with peace and harmony. How precious water, soil and sun, grant life for you and me. Our land abounds in nature's gifts to love, respect and share. And honoring the dreaming, advance Australia fair. Australians, let us stand as one upon this sacred land. A new day dawns, we're moving on to trust and understand. Combine our ancient histories and cultures everywhere to bond together for all time, advance Australia fair. With joyful hearts, then let us sing, advance Australia fair. And when this special land of ours is in our children's care, from shore to shore, forevermore, advance Australia fair. With joyful hearts, then let us sing, advance Australia fair. Good morning. 